Entanglement emerges out of the fine print of the rules of quantum mechanics. It basically comes from a combination of two rules. One rule tells you of how you can combine multi-particle systems, and the other rule tells you about superposition. This is the form of quantum randomness, which is very different from classical forms of randomness. And entanglement as such is a property of a many-particle state. That means you need to have at least multiple players that are interacting with each other to generate an entangled state. The correlations that are present in such an entangled state are very different from the correlations that you can find among classical particles. And as such, it has led to many uh, counterintuitive effects that people have encountered. For instance, you could consider the simplest possible scenario. Both you and your friend have a qubit, each their own, and you would meet and do a joint operation that entangles those two qubits. So now those both qubits are in an entangled state. If you now were to imagine that both of you go to the either end of the galaxy and start measuring your individual qubit locally in some basis, in some way that you like to measure, you're only going to find you're going to get random and scrambled answers. However, if you meet later and basically start to check where you agreed in your questions, you will find that the answer is also perfectly agreed. This has to be contrasted with a different scenario where, for instance, you're allowed to do a joint measurement on both qubits at the same time. In that case, there are measurements that you can perform that are perfectly deterministic and are not random at all. This is essentially is the hallmark of a two-particle entangled state. You would expect that if entanglement plays such an important role in the fundamentals of quantum mechanics, it is also very relevant for its applications in quantum information theory or quantum computation. In two scenarios, you could, for instance, ask in quantum information theory, it is often used as a resource for certain communication tasks. So if you want to send a particular quantum state to a friend, you do so by using up an entangled pair. In quantum computation, we know it's a necessary, although not a sufficient, requirement to have a speed up over classical computing. The reason is that if you have a computation that uses very little entanglement, you're actually able to simulate that computation on a classical computer.